Among the following compounds related to the benzene on ozonolysis which produces different compounds compared to the others and the given structures related to the benzene derivatives are and the benzene related derivatives are given by metadimethyl benzene, paradimethyl benzene, orthodimethyl benzene followed by toluene that is methyl benzene. As we know this is present in equilibrium with the another one Kekulia structure that is also metadimethyl benzene whereas this double bond varies like this there is a double bond like this there are double bonds. Similarly in the second case that is paradimethyl benzene if I write the paradimethyl benzene related uh, Kekulia structures so therefore this can be like this and there is another one possibility like this. If I write orthodimethyl benzene that is are the toluene. So therefore this is methyl and this is methyl. We may expect a double bond at this place and there is another one alternate chance like this double bond can be expected. Similarly in this case that is methyl benzene which is known as toluene over here. This and this followed by another one situation is like this. These are the varieties of equilibriums existing between the given starting materials. Now these are expected for the Ozonolysis as a result one in them one compound in them will produce as different compounds We have to identify those compounds If I go for the compound number one, let us feel it as compound A Let us feel it as compound B. Let us feel it as compound C and let us feel it as what compound D Now we have to create some space to write the things suppose here if I write for compound A Compound A related ozonolysis results like this a cleavage can be possible like this cleavage can be possible like this cleavage can be possible. Suppose in this way if cleavage occurs that results as methyl here followed by C double bond O followed by C double bond OH formation takes place methyl here C double bond O followed by aldehyde group whereas here cleavage occurs that results as C double bond OH followed by C double bond OH and this cleavage also results the same top compound from here also you can expect the same methyl one side C double bond O followed by aldehyde methyl one side followed by C double bond O aldehyde one side and this is glyoxyl formation takes place these are the products with respect to A if I go for compound B B related products suppose if cleavage occurs like this so therefore everywhere there is only one chance here one compound and here one compound the above two compounds are repeated that is C double bond O followed by C double bond OH followed by glyoxal methyl glyoxal followed by glyoxal formation takes place. If I go for compound C compound C results what dimethyl glyoxal what it results dimethyl glyoxal is one possible variety followed by the remaining is glyoxal formation takes place this is glyoxal whereas if I go for compound 4 compound 4 related entry here I am doing so therefore here cleavage occurs let us expect then that results as methyl glyoxal and another one is what glyoxal formation takes place this will be glyoxal and another one is methyl glyoxal in A methyl glyoxal and glyoxal in B methyl glyoxal and glyoxal in D also that is methyl glyoxal and the glyoxal formation takes place whereas if I go for C there is dimethyl glyoxal formation takes place hence this particular orthotoline otherwise 1 comma 2 dimethyl benzene produces different compound on ozonolysis which is different from the remaining compounds like that is metadimethyl benzene followed by paradimethyl benzene followed by what methyl benzene.